What is going on everybody? My name is Dan. I am into hiking and backpacking and gear and all of those things. Today we're talking about losing weight. <laughs> Not, no wait, hold on. That came out wrong. <laughs> Today we're talking about losing weight out of your backpack. Before we get into that though, let's talk about the elephant in the room. Uh, and that sounded really bad too because I was just talking about weight. So the elephant in the room is, yes, I'm not wearing a hat. Get that out of your head. Uh, stop staring at my head. Yes, this is what I look like without a hat. There's already a million YouTube videos on this topic already. Um, if you search, you know, how to lighten your backpack, you're gonna find a ton of them online and they're, they're all very helpful, obviously. This video is a little bit different because I'm gonna share some ways that aren't gonna cost you any money to lose weight out of your backpack. And it's stuff that you could do today. So like if you're planning on heading out this upcoming weekend for a backpacking trip, first of all, you're very lucky and I hope you're social distancing. Um, but second of all, you can lose the weight immediately out of your backpack. If you're a newer backpacker, you're probably already doing this stuff. Uh, this is stuff that I am 100% guilty of myself. But being on as many backpacking trips as I've been on over the past several years, I've been able to dial down my backpack into a system that works really well for me, and it's pretty lightweight. So first off, don't bring extra clothing with you when you're going on your backpacking trip. Already, right away, you're probably like, there's no way I'm not bringing extra clothing. I wanna be able to change clothes on a daily basis, but consider this. This is about what somebody might bring for an extra days of clothing, just one extra day of clothing. And this is gonna weigh about, and this doesn't really stay on the scale very well. This is gonna weigh just shy of 700 grams. One second. I'm doing this for all you lazy people. What's 695 grams to ounces? The answer is 24.52 ounces. That's 24 ounces. That's a pound and a half of clothing extra that you're bringing. And if you're out there for the weekend, maybe you brought an extra two days worth of clothing, you're looking at three extra pounds of clothing. Backpacking is a um, hobby that you're just gonna naturally get dirty and you're gonna stink and everybody out there is gonna stink with you and it's just something that you're gonna have to deal with and uh, you're just gonna, get out there and be more excited to camp and backpack and you'll be less thinking about how you smell. So <laughs> uh, just don't bring the extra clothing with you. You can get away with what you're wearing for the weekend. Uh, I bring extra socks because I want my feet to stay healthy while I'm hiking. It helps me to avoid blisters or if my socks get really wet, it keeps my feet healthy and I can swap out a, 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 you know, a, a wet pair of socks for a dry pair of socks. All right, number two, we're gonna leave this actually here because I'm gonna use this in a second here. But number two is uh, your cutting tool or your knife. So um, early on in backpacking, uh, it is super cool to bring something like this. All right, this is a knife that I've literally had since I was a kid and I used to mess around in the woods. This is the Rambo knife. Um, and these are super fun to bring, I know that. Uh, and you're gonna feel really manly having something like this strapped to your belt. But I will tell you that you're never gonna use this unless you are literally uh, like in survival mode and you think you're survival man uh, or you're a bushcrafter or something like that. But we're talking about backpacking. We're not talking about bushcrafting. So uh, this particular knife weighs 423 grams, 423 grams to ounces. That would be 14.92 ounces. That's almost a pound right there for something like this. If you're new to backpacking, this will surprise you or if you've been living under a rock and you haven't been watching any of my videos like you should be, this will also surprise you. But I bring simply a knife like this. This is the Swiss Army Classic SD. I have talked about this at nauseum in other videos, but it has exactly what I need to be able to do the things that I need to do while I'm backpacking out on the trail. Very simple knife. Now, if that freaks you out and you're not ready for something as minimal as this, you could up your game and bring something like this if you wanted to. This is the Swiss Army Huntsman, and this has a whole bunch more tools. It's got a knife on here that's much larger um, than the other knife. And it's got like a screwdriver on here and some other tools that you'll probably never need out on the trail. But it's something that may make you feel a little bit more you know, secure because a lot of guys like to bring that multi-tool out there. Or you could also bring something like this. And this is something that I brought on trips in the past. This is the Leatherman Skeletool CX. It's got your knife, a screwdriver, it's got a wrench, uh, it'll hang on your backpack. Uh, some of this stuff, most of this stuff, you're probably never going to need. But 
For guys that do filming, for instance, and they swap out tripod stuff and things, something like this can be of use. And also one thing to consider about a pair of pliers is that this does help you get out knots if they're really poorly tied um, and you really need to get a knot out. So that is helpful um, out in the field, but this is pretty much overkill as well. Let me just show you the weights of some of these just to kind of give you an idea. You saw the Rambo knife. Uh, let's go with the next heaviest. It's gonna be this Skeletool. Uh, we're looking at 144 grams. Uh, let's look at this Swiss Army Huntsman. We're looking at 97 grams. And let's look at this Swiss Army Classic SD. We're looking at only 20 grams. So again, there's never been an instance out on trail that I have absolutely needed something other than a tiny little knife like this. I'm not going out there to bushcraft. I'm not going out there to carve stuff. I'm going out there to hike into camp and that is all I'm doing. So if you're doing other stuff like the bushcrafting and all that kind of stuff, you might want to consider having a little bit larger knife with you. But um, for most people, <laughs> they're not taking the big Rambo knife. It's going to save weight immediately out of your backpack. Now this is a uh, total personal preference this next tip uh, because this varies for everybody. I'm a pretty simple guy out in the back country. I like to just bring some dehydrated meals with me that you can get at pretty much any local store um, and I cook with that. I like to make it simple and easy. I am not a back country chef whatsoever. However, there are people out there that are. So take this next tip with a grain of salt. Uh, no pun intended. When I go backpacking, I'm literally only taking this cook pot with me. It's a pot and a lid. It's a very lightweight titanium pot. I don't find it necessary in my situation for how I backpack to bring a plate, to bring an extra mug, to do anything like that. This satisfies all of my needs. Really the only thing that I'm cooking in here is water. I'm just boiling my water and I'm pouring it into a dehydrated or freeze dried meal and I'm eating out of that meal bag and then I make some coffee or something in here and I rinse it out when I'm done. Not much to clean up. So that's pretty much all I bring with me as far as a cook pot. By removing a plate, by removing the extra mug, by removing you know all of the other stuff that you're thinking about in your mind, if it's your first few times backpacking and you're thinking this is all stuff you're gonna need, you're gonna really save some significant weight uh, because there are much easier ways to cook your food and much lighter ways to cook your food out in the backcountry. All right, so this next tip, let's talk about fuel, backpacking fuel. Uh, this is gonna be an area that you can save a ton of weight in as well. If you're a new backpacker, you're not really sure exactly how this all works. You get concerned with the amount of fuel that you're supposed to bring for how you're cooking and you think that uh, you're gonna run out of fuel and you're trying to you know, figure out your meals to temperature outside to how many times you're gonna cook and it's just really confusing. Let me help you guys out. So this is something that I've seen actually quite a few new backpackers do. They'll bring a fuel canister like this. This is literally a can of propane that you would put like on your grill for car camping. Um, this weighs 16 ounces on its own. I've also seen people carry something like this. This is also found in the backpacking section, if you can believe that, at some of the stores out there. Uh, this weighs almost exactly the same as this. It just is smaller. I've seen people carry even something like this. This is a 220 gram fuel canister, a little bit less fuel, but this is still pretty large. For a weekend backpacking trip, this is literally all I take. I can cook uh, my Friday night dinner, my Saturday breakfast, my Saturday lunch, my Saturday dinner, even have a snack late at night. I can cook a Sunday morning meal and a lunch and still have leftover fuel from this tiny little fuel canister that's 113 grams, four ounces. So from this to this, you can save almost three quarters of a pound just from understanding how much fuel it's gonna take for you to cook for the weekend and not being concerned about something this small because you can look at this thing and think, man, I just don't think it's gonna work for me. I'm gonna need something like this or this or this to be able to cook for the weekend. You really don't. This is all you're gonna need. Now, if you're the guy who isn't going to use a canister stove and you're looking at maybe something like this, this is an alcohol stove. This is a Kojin ultralight stove. Uh, this thing weighs virtually nothing. Uh, all you're gonna need is some denatured alcohol to put in here. This is another way to save weight. It's a really great option for you. Um, it takes about one and a half ounces or so to boil two cups of water, and it works great. So this is another option for you to save weight out on the trail. All right, let's recap. 
by not bringing a fuel canister like this, by not bringing extra cookware like a pot and a mug, by not bringing a Rambo knife, and by not bringing a pair of clothes for every day that you're backpacking, you're looking at saving about six to eight pounds out of your backpack and it didn't cost you a penny. As a matter of fact, it probably saved you money because you didn't have to buy this canister and you didn't have to bring this and you didn't have to bring this expensive knife. You can thank me by subscribing to my channel. If you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. Also subscribe for more. Make sure you hit the bell notification so I can send you a video every time it's released. Also follow me on Instagram. I do have an Instagram as well. And I will see you on the next one.